Hello everyone, in the next video from Total War Attila, Age of Charlemagne and Kingdom of Mercia campaign and today we are facing looks like quite challenging battles so first of all we are outnumbered uh, our forces count for 2600 men and we are facing around 3300 men so you can see it's 50 50 uh, regarding predicted strength uh, so a uh, quick look at the at the terrain terrain looks like that uh, and we potentially have a high ground and we are also uh, defending sides so we will see and I'm, I'm slightly worried mostly about Armorican cavalry because uh, that's a skirmisher's cavalry they are throwing javelins and usually those javelins are very very effective we have a lot of spearmen men uh, so spearmen men uh, spearmen units uh, which should be able to stop them, uh, but they will be able to inflict high casualties on us. Also, we have plenty of archers, so from the distance we should be able to inflict some casualties before they come in. And also we are defending probably on the higher ground, so that should give us a huge, huge advantage. So with that being said, let's jump onto the battlefield. Also, they have reinforcements, uh, but they will be slightly late, so probably we'll deal with uh, enemies first, of course. That's a plain terrain. Mm -hmm. There is no trees, nothing. Oh dear god. Well, that would work perfectly if we, if we were stationing here and defending downwards. That would be, would be great. This is not true. So let's move my forces back. Of course, we will form form the line first. Uh, something like that should be should be okay. I will keep archers behind in slightly tight formation. Uh, I want to avoid that. Or actually, uh, I will start the battle with the archers in front uh, for some time so I will I will make a wide line and then I will move them back uh, in slightly tighter formation and I will also try to close the flank like that of course they will be able to still outflank me but by doing so I will also support each each flank with uh, two fang, fang squads so you have a situation like that. Uh, I will actually move things behind, and with those forces, I will try to form the line to uh, stop any any flanking maneuver. So that's the idea. It's quite it's quite simple. It's nothing uh, nothing special to be honest. But also, uh, I feel like in those ages, any super fancy tactics were rather limited so just keeping the cohesion uh, high morale and watching out on on the flanks and we should be should be Gucci Gucci well this is a modern modern war word uh, okay uh, where are the enemies okay we found Armorican cavalry yeah you can see that's a heavy skirmishers cavalry tier 3 Enemy so yeah this is a problem uh, reinforcements are coming. Do we know from where? There is no information. Yeah, because we can we cannot see downhill. This is quite quite obvious. The enemy you approaches. see, that's the perspective of our army. So, uh, would be awesome to eliminate any uh, distant units, like archers or javelin men. But they are keeping together and they are trying to move to our flank. Are they going to combine with reinforcements? Uh, might be true. I could slightly angle left, uh, but well, is it is that necessary? Okay, yeah. Uh, the AI movement is very interesting. 
So looks like they are trying to form the battle line, I suppose. Uh, I will form a group and I will try to adjust to, to their position. Okay, looks looks good to me. Also, I think archers should switch to heavy shot. No, uh, well, the standard shot has a bonus against cavalry. This is the standard shot type for this unit. These values are further modified by the unit. Okay. And what we have here? Whistling shot causes very little damage but has a fearsome sound. Oh, interesting. Flaming shot. There is a bonus versus cavalry and elephants. You're not fighting against elephants. But base reload time is 34. And fire projectiles 12 seconds minus 4 morale. Okay. Also, it's raining. I don't know whether it... I, I think it affects the flaming shot if it's raining. I feel like that function should be... Well, maybe not disabled, but there there should be information that... Uh, that any... That, that there are some debuffs to the, to the flaming shot. Okay. Heavy shot. Causes greater armor piercing, but less regular damage and takes more time to reload. Most efficient against heavily armored enemies. These values are further modified by the unit itself. Okay. Uh, let me take a look. Is American cavalry regarded as... Uh, yeah, it, it has excellent armor. Very light skirmishers. We will f see who will attack first. Probably cavalry will be first. So... If that's true... I'm going to switch to heavy shot for them because it should be slightly more effective against such targets. Let's find out what are they doing. Of course, uh, you will win if the time runs out. Okay, this is good information. And that's because we are defending side. What do they look like? Uh, they look just just like most of the cavalry. Nothing special to be fair. Also, the time period of Age of Charlemagne it makes uh, units, visuals, how they look, and also the versatility of the units available in the game quite limited. Uh, yeah, and that's because mostly of, 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 of the time, of the era, uh, which game takes place in. So, yeah. Uh, it would be awesome if we if we had more options available, but we don't, so... Maybe we should, we should have a bit more factions available? I don't know. Uh, let's regroup slightly. Just, just slightly. Okay, he's 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 keeping interesting formation. So, c cavalry in the flanks, spearmen in the middle, and behind he has heavy melee infantry with his armored swordsmen. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll see. I've switched again to standard shot because I see that javelin men uh, and archers are on the first line. Uh, I'm wondering about my cavalry here. I would like to extract as much potential from them as possible, but I don't know whether it's 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 possible. They outnumber my cavalry and also outperform. So okay, the good thing is that javelin men, the skirmishers. Uh, have limited range. You can see it's very, very small compared to to archers. Okay, we should be good uh, for my spearmen. Let's turn on the speed. Oh, formations! Interesting. Many front triple line. Very interesting. Okay, uh, let's turn on spear wall. Are you going to send your cavalry now or not? Like not. Okay, he should be in range soon. 
Are they tired or something? No, they are still fresh, despite moving such a such a long distance. Okay. Okay, now he is trying to move his cavalry onto the flank. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we have to pose. Uh, my spearman line is quite thin. I don't know whether it's a good idea. Uh, so, we need to... Okay, first of all, let's turn off uh, the spear wall. Oh, my bad. Mm, that's too, too thick. Let's make something like that. Okay. Same about you. Of course, we have to turn off the spear wall. Good. Uh, let's form the line. Something like that. That should be good enough. Okay. Quick on post and post to see the formation. Looks decent. And now we will put my archers behind. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Quickly. Yes, they are trying to reorganize. We also have cavalry here. We can use them. They are trying Let's to see. take out our general. Defend him. Okay, good. Now let's quickly pose. Unfortunately, Fangs are holding line here. Hmm. Uh, shield wall, spear wall. The last unit, I will keep Rutter out of that stance. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, my general, let's put you a bit closer. Hopefully you won't die, those javelins. And yeah, they are throwing them. We could try to bait them with my, with my cavalry. Let's move here to the rear. Let's try to attack those archers. Okay, they are pushing with the spearmen. And that's a tier 1 unit. We should be fine because uh, our unit is tier 2. We can send my 40 minus 80%. Let's turn it on. Okay, good. Uh, let's send general to the to support them. Uh, let's heed those archers. It's gonna be a mass attack. Ready for battle. What does it look like? Looks good. Yeah, they are molesting my fangs here. But they will, they will need to attack me soon. They are running out of ammunition. Okay. Uh, let's change the plan. Small modification. Okay, let's regroup. Okay, let's support. You gentlemen will attack the archers in the back. Okay, now quick pose. Uh, let's send spearmen to attack that cavalry because they will molest us. Let's resend my fangs here. So I, maybe I will do it like that. It's about the left flank. Okay, spearmen support them. I will create the line here. Good. Hopefully we'll hold it. What about that cavalry? They're doing very well. Spears! Gentlemen, please attack. I gave you order. Spears! Guys, I gave you an order. What's going on? Come on. Okay. Good. What about my cavalry? Okay, we are doing very solid job here. Lovely, thanks. Let's let's support the line. Now, quickly turn off that stance, please. Let's form the line here, slightly thicker. Uh, let's send my spearmen to the center. Let's attack because my line is wavering here. Yeah, they broke them. Of course, I don't know what's going on with my spearmen here. Now, of course, uh, he's molesting my cavalry here. Let's send some reinforcements. Oh my goodness, if he, will, if he will catch my cavalry now. No, he didn't. 
Okay, good. We are still holding. Uh, there's a uh, damn cavalry. Focus on the spearman. You, you spearman will focus on the cavalry. Okay, I, I, I have to keep cavalry together. I think. Okay, now the ref left flank. Uh, left flank. You will try to outmaneuver them. Uh, let's refocus like that. Let's give them a new orders. Good. I don't know what's going on on the left. Yeah, the left flank is slightly weaker. Okay, good. You are hitting them. Uh, let's select a new target. Let's try to go through them. Yeah, the, the armory and cavalry is is trying to support its own units. Let's double click again. Okay. Uh, here we have to reform the line. Let's make it something like that. Let's resend my leftovers of banks here at the back. You gentlemen, new target, please. You also, everyone. Okay, good. You can also use the ability. Probably my cavalry will not survive it because they are hit by. Why do you? St why do you stop? You won't win with the skirmishers. Okay, pull back. Pull back now. Okay, good. Let's avoid, let's avoid those units. Beautifully. Spear wall, shield wall. They are wavering. Let's send my troops. Of course, he broke my cavalry immediately. Okay, now let's reform the line. Reform the line. No need to. How is that possible? Come on, that's it. Virgin man, break them! Come on. Okay. Good. At who you are firing? That's my main question. Okay, I'm going to form the new line of archers, trying to target the, those guys. I don't know what we are targeting. Okay, let's try to hit them. Maybe no. The guys in the, in the back. Okay, some units are wavering. Good. Oof, my line here is gonna be a problem. Try to break them. Okay, here here we have general unit. How about you guys, let's focus on them. Uh, general move here to the left. Can you hit enemy archers, please? Whoa, our general is dead. That's a surprising information. How is that possible? Oh, the enemy general is also dead. Good. Good. They are breaking. No, let's refocus on them. Okay, its army is is very very unfortunately. Yeah, that's a sad news that Awful Bolt is dead. Okay, okay, to my surprise, we are winning it. But that was a tough fight. Yeah, that that cavalry made a difference. Wow, okay, let's end battle. Yeah, that's a close victory, I agree. Uh, almost half of my forces are dead. I would like to see who did uh, the most. Mm, we can, of course, we'll take on replenishment. 25%, this is a massive boost. Good. Now it would be reasonable to break that army. The Sword of Mercy, yeah. Uh, we've lost fantastic, fantastic leader, and we don't have a good replacement for him. Well, so we'll we'll take the sad bed, 
side bed. I don't know. Uh, those are bonuses for the Gavin province, so we'll get the scholar, which gives us res research rate plus five percent. Yeah, and then we killed in battle. Yeah, I know, but also awful belt is dead. Those are very, very sad news. Look at that replenishment. Okay, our army is is better prepared at that point. So, are we able to? Take the the village. Dear God, what a replenishment rate! Kill! They are not suffering attrition, though. Uh, should I? I won't be able to bre break the army now. I mean, uh, attack the settlement because they will reinforcement reinforce them. So should I keep besieging? Maybe they will decide to attack me once again. Might be, yeah, it might be possible. They've lost all its cavalry. Those are good news. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong, uh, wrong tab. Okay, that's how it looks like. What if I at decide to attack? Yeah, he's supporting them. Mm, no, that's not gonna work. Definitely not. I won't be able to capture the city with those reinforcements. Maybe, maybe it's doable, but I could try to give him a battle, the open field. But there is my second army coming in. Of course, that's gonna take them so much time, dear God. Of course, also casualties inflicted. Uh, they got promotion because of the naval battle last time. What we can, what we can do, unity experience. We'll go for authority and zeal. Yeah, and the army promotion, and that's much better option. So, mm, ammunition. We have archers. Why not? Melee attack and melee defense, block and parry. Okay, maybe one of both of these traits. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Uh, so yeah, that was the battle. Quite enjoyable, but it was it was tough. Yeah, the the, the amount of cavalry made uh, made a difference. Despite the fact we we slaughtered the, that cavalry, but still the the ability to maneuver around was pretty pretty massive. So yeah, we we suffered because of that. Anyway, uh, hopefully the army which is stationing here now and besieging uh, Vanes is is sufficient uh, to defend against against the long blades army and also this little garrison sitting here but we will find out we could also hire mercenaries do we need it not really it won't give us a boost that's a skirmisher's cavalry but that's a tier one no point in doing doing so so no we'll not do that but we have some money available, and with that money, we could we could do something. Definitely could. The question is what? I really need better economy. Mm. But what we should do? Well, we could go for those mine shafts, but there is always a problem with squalor, unfortunately. Uh, that requires cathedral and church care, so it requires technology and it's gonna take some time before we will be able to develop that. We can select market hall. I don't really need growth now, so it's I feel like it's kind of waste of resources, but we also selected the trade city and we are getting 30% from commercial buildings, so this is quite a high high boost to the commerce value maybe the great market town is the better option and it costs 4200 okay let's go this way why not uh here we have my agent oh all the priest here also i could also hire a priest and assign him to army to inspire troops i think there is a such such an option available it would make sense or also we have plenty of cavalry here and it's wasting money 
I feel like we could, yeah, definitely we should disband some of them. I have seven cavalry units which are doing nothing. But it's, well, in defense, it's quite useful to have those. <laughs> That's a big army of spearmen and archers, honestly. Okay, let let me disband some some of those units. Uh, two spearmen, uh, cavalry. I will disband them for now. I have six spearmen and so many archers. I think five archer teams is is enough. Okay, good. And here also, okay. You you don't have any experience, so I can can disband you. Oh, wait, wait a second. I can upgrade. Oh, it's a uh, armor smithing and all that stuff. So let's disband you. Yeah, that gave us a little boost to the income, which looks pretty, pretty nice. And I think that would be it regarding the economy. Now let's take a look at diplomacy. Maybe something is... Oh, hello. Would you like to trade with me? I am eager Dushi to of hear Frisia. your embassy. Trade Inspired agreement. As it undoubtedly Beautiful. Did. Lovely. That's great. Of course, the now the relations with Frankish separatists are deteriorating because of lack of the trade route, but that's okay. Uh, I think the Dushi of Frisia is slightly more powerful than Frankish separatists, at least based on strength rank. Uh, Dushi of Gascony, you don't like me at all. And we have also Kingdom of Charlemagne. Welcome, trade agreement. I trust you bring words that, will that would be a massive trade agreement. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Anyway, looks like that would be it regarding diplomacy. Sad but true. But our income now, the next turn, it's gonna be 5700. Beautifully. Okay. Kill! I'm surprised that we haven't received any promotion for the army for that battle. It was a pretty massive battle. So, okay, it is what it is. Quick look at the faction. Uh, still looks good. I don't think I want to do anything. I could... Oh, no, I cannot assign sad bed to any office. Uh, wouldn't be... Where is Athelwald? Athelred. Theodoric. Uh, here it is my king. Oh, I have two sad bed and one... No, both of them are generals. Interesting, is it a bag or what? Why I cannot assign you? Oh, because you are... You don't have a rank or I cannot do that? Okay, I could, I could do with Weburg, but Weburg is a governor. Osview, Osview is a general. Yeah, and I cannot assign you, why? Influence cost, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Probably your influence is terrible. Indeed it is, it's it's eleven. So probably the same story about yeah uh sad bad influence. Okay, yeah. So my generals are not very experienced now. We lost great general. But it is what it is. So quick look at the technology. What I'm developing now? Where I am. Long marches, forty grade. Yeah, this is this is good option. I don't I don't mind. Okay, uh, looks good. Let's end turn then. And what Kingdom of Britain will do? That army still has potential. Oh. They haven't moved that army anywhere. Again, this is outbreak in Quimper. Understandable. Down Patrick also? How nice. Much appreciated. I could build palace here uh, to boost public order also now I cannot recruit any agents that army is replenishing uh, okay that turns remaining before surrender okay that's gonna take so much time okay we'll wait we, we need to wait for reinforcements so let's go hopefully there is no enemy fleet oh that's a very small detachment so I'm not worried about 
the stance I have, which is double time. Uh, a lot of a lot of money available. Okay, mm. whatever. Yeah, outbreak chance three percent, and it, it's still out out broke. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, let's start with that top province, which is Pickland. I would like to develop it uh, as much as possible, and then switch to switch to something else. Food trader, interesting option, but for now I think I don't need it. Chapel, probably will also have to go for the chapel because there is well not too many interesting <laughs> options. Uh, then we have Bamberg. Oh, and in Bamberg we can build great market town. I don't mind to do that. Let's go. And we have 2,500 left. Should I do anything? For now, maybe not really. So what I should build in London? Guardhouse. Uh, what it gives me? That requires palace, the garrison quarters. Mm, that's a huge garrison then, and I could, I could leave London unprotected. Also in Winchester, I could go instead of food market, I could go for guardhouse also. So that would protect my, my coast, coastline. Makes sense, maybe. Okay, a quick look at diplomacy again. Mm, you don't care about me, Kingdom of Charlemagne, so... There is a small detachment, six troops. Are you going to reinforce them? Hopefully not. I could raise force here. Oh my goodness, I have so terrible generals available. Revive the name of one of your defeated armies. What's that? The Fury of Tamworth. Interesting. No, I, I I don't think I need to do that. Yeah, I don't have great great generals available. Probably I would need to send that gentleman. Uh, maybe I should do it. But first, I would like to form the army here. And even before, I would like to improve my economy as much as possible before we, we do anything regarding Please military situation. So hopefully that army will be will be enough to, to conquer Brittany. We will find out. Maybe some interesting mercenaries available? Not really. I would go for mercenary armory and cavalry. Despite, well, no, the upkeep cost is almost 500. But that, that could be useful in the coming battles. Okay, that would be it. Let's let's end turn, and also we will we will end the episode soon. Just see what Kingdom of Brittany will do. Will they give us battle? No, they moved away. Of course, we will have to deal with that little little fo force later. Okay, and now we can we can land here. Of course we will land and no, we cannot yet attack but that's okay okay that force is growing in size of course we have that annoying stance still we can hire mercenaries we don't need that what about that army mm, they are suffering attrition that army is replenishing Okay, the garrison is not a big deal. I would be rather worried about about that army, but we should be able to deal with them easily. Attack! We are outnumbering them probably. Also, our firepower is greater. That's for sure. Let's hire the, the mercenary archer. It might be might be useful. Of course, I would like to switch that stance. They probably won't attack us, even with the support of the garrison from there. They are still weaker than we are. Okay, it's not it's not terrible. Quick look at the economy now. Let's let's build a few buildings if possible. 
We can build market hall. What we can build in Greenon. We could upgrade trade city, but that's again related with uh, food consumption. So maybe great market town to boost economy. It's always a good option. And we have 5,700 left. What we could do. Uh, let's take a look at the Munster. Oh, here we cannot build anything. And why? You have insufficient funds. Oh, okay, yeah. Now I have... I'm sorry, I... I I looked at the wrong information. Okay, uh, so we will again try to accumulate uh, some some money for later purpose. Now let's select another technology. And what should it sh what should it be? Hmm. Campaign planning, it's cool because campaign movement range, it's something, uh, it's always useful, especially for the long, long campaigns regarding the huge, uh, huge countries like Kingdom of Charlemagne. Uh, but maybe we should go different path. Battlefield surgery, that would add even more to our replenishment capabilities. So why not? And then the professional soldiers, uh, integrity plus two, upkeep cost minus 10. This is huge. Uh, considering that we have quite a massive army, I feel like that would be a huge, huge, huge boost for us. But look at that. that it's going to take so much, so much time to develop it. So I don't know whether it, it's reasonable. Ranged warfare. The ammunition, yeah, it would be also cool because it happens that we run out of ammunition. I wouldn't mind to wouldn't mind to have a bit more, but it's ten turns, so it's a long, long time. Hmm. Warrior culture, no, wooden wall, definitely not. That makes sense. I'm tempted to go ranged warfare or the planned movement. Of course. Th before I've said that the campaign planning is cool, or maybe I, we are going to need that at some point, so I prefer to do it now than later. Okay, uh, so that's about it. Let's run uh, another turn and we will we will end the video then. So yeah. mm -hmm. And Kingdom of Brittany, what you will do? Nothing still. Yeah, you are gathering the army. I, I can see it. Is that army going to again consist of For the tribe. multiple of cavalry units? Let's find out. Uh, what you have? No, this time no. Okay, that's great. So mo mostly skirmishers and standard spearmen. Beautiful. So, let's encircle them the for the uh, and let's hope that they will attack us soon. What's stationing in St. Malo? Okay, that's a poor garrison. Of course, our general is not uh, well experienced, uh, but that's okay. We're still worried about that army. Uh, the garrison in Vanes is it's terribly low, but if I attack now, yeah, I, w I w will not win it. Definitely not. Of course, that army will not station in the city itself. I should have time to capture the city, but it's quite, quite risky move. So let's just wait. L let them attack us. Why not? Uh, okay, so that's that's done, and I think it's about right time to finish the episode so i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one where we will try to face the army stationing next to sao malo if they decide of course to to attack us and also the army stationing south of 
Vaness. But for today, that would be it. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.